was just 13 when they came for me the first time. Never again did I sway through summer or succumb to the loneliness of a fleeting autumn sun or lie still in the cold hands of winter. But I sensed a different life in another place, so I wasn't afraid. Anxious is a better word. I'd pondered the possibilities as I watched brothers and sisters fall around me, some burning brightly as campfires, others rising in escape from chimneys down in the valley, suddenly gone forever. I enjoyed my early years next to Sassafras. She taught me everything. We overlooked a small Michigan town called Grayling. From the edge of the forest, we watched children play. We watched them grow. I am blessed with many fond memories. I can still smell the sweet aroma of hot apple butter in late October. The men came in the morning, and by noon it was over. I ended up at Lake Windjammer, where I've been for almost 40 years. Actually, it's more like a big pond than a lake. So much has happened to me. Some very good things and some very sad things. For example, look at me now, chained to a Dutch elm by fat, rusty links that hang heavily around my tired old legs. Why chain me? I can't run away. And who would want to steal an old sweet gum like me anyway? I wish they'd take me back to the water's edge. It's hard to see the children from here. I wish I could smell hot apple butter. I wish I could see sassafras one more time. I do miss her so. Thank you.